policy that this administration has. National security comes first. Uh, Mr. Gorka, I want to ask you about something that's been in the news for the past two days, and that, of course, is Don Jr.'s meeting with a Russian lawyer who seemed to be offering up some sort of damaging information about Hillary Clinton. Was it a good idea for Don Jr. to meet with this Russian lawyer? Was it a good idea for the DNC to send its operatives to the Ukrainian embassy? I'm not sure that answers opposition? my question. No, I, you know, if there's a meeting that was wholly appropriate, but which led to nothing, let's compare that to the DNC sending its people to the Ukrainian embassy to coordinate oppo attacks mm -hmm. against our candidate. I mean, if you want to see collusion, uh -huh. it's in the DNC. So, I mean, it is so, but up you're, to okay, so, so just let me follow your line of logic. You're saying it's inappropriate for the Democrats to meet with a foreign country, Ukraine, but it's not inappropriate for your campaign, for Donald Trump, to meet with the Russians. Uh, hostile what do you mean foreign. the Russians? Was it, who did this woman work for at the time? Do you know? Well, this she did is not the work question, for the Mr. Government. Gorka. I mean, this is what investigators are obviously trying to... I'm what, what is the answer? Who, who, what is her connection to the Kremlin? There was no connection. She was a private lawyer who had an interest with regards to the Russian adoption program and used a pretext to get a meeting uh, with the campaign, which, which the campaign representatives almost immediately realized was not done in good faith, that she had another agenda. That's right, and therefore but they the meeting wanted, ended. what's funny, Mr. Gorka, is that they wanted the original agenda. They wanted the dirt. Which is what, polit which is, which is what political campaigns do, but we don't meet on the soil of foreign nations at their embassies to get opposition research. I mean, if you want to look at a real story, mm -hmm. that's the story. Oh my gosh, if you want to look at a real story, the 126 leaks of national security importance mm -hmm. in the first 125 days. I saw what you did yesterday with Kellyanne, 35 minutes on this one issue. Have you ever at CNN dedicated 35 minutes to the 125 six leaks against this administration, well, seven times the average of the leaks under the Obama yeah. administration, the Bush administration. Now that's a story worthy of CNN coverage. Um, we obviously cover lots of things along the spectrum, but I know that yeah, you do you, what you, Kellyanne, you, you hold pay. on Mr. Gorka, one second, because you do what Kellyanne also does, which is try to deflect back to the Hillary Clinton campaign. I understand that tactic, but the question is that why then, if this was also on the up and up, did the president's son, Don Jr., not, dis not only not disclose it, but didn't actually use the right story when first asked about it? He claimed that the meeting was about adoption, but that wasn't what the real story was. And he's not alone. I mean, let me just pull up this graphic for you of the seven people connected to the Trump campaign somehow. Michael Flynn, Jeff Sessions, Jared Kushner, Paul Manafort, Don Jr., Carter Page, J.D. Gordon. None of them adequately disclosed their meetings with Russians until the press found out about it. What's going on? Nothing. You heard their statements. You heard Don Jr.'s statements that told you everything you need to know. He's not even a member of the administration. I mean, this is the shocking thing. Again, the amount of time you spend in desperation on a topic that has plummeted you to 13th place in viewership ranking across America. I mean, more people watch Nick at Night cartoons than CNN today. Our I mean, ratings that, are doing just fine. I mean, if you want to go no, there, 13th, our ratings are doing just 13th. fine. But ra what ratings Nick represent is, is that people 11. are interested in this. And our ratings Nick reflect Nick is 11. that more Americans are interested in cartoons. Interested in this. Look, I'm more sure, people are interested in cartoons I'm sure more than people CNN. are interested in watching House of Cards than whatever you're doing as well. However, our ratings are just fine, and the American people say that they're quite interested in what's going on with uh, these Russian actually, ties. Actually, that's but not true. If you, you? if you look at the polling, if you look at the polling, most people couldn't care less. More than 65% of Americans we have are not interested in Russia. No, as in your bubble. In your bubble, mm -hmm. sure, but that's the bubble. That's not the people who elected it's Donald J. Trump to be president. It's actually a cross-section of Americans and polls. But, but listen, the, here's the question, which I don't think you're answering. Why didn't they adequately disclose? There's no need for a private citizen to disclose his meeting in a campaign that happened months before. That, no, this all is, of those people is, that I just he's not put a up member of the administration. are all connected not a to the, of the Trump administration. administration, and they did not disclose it on forms where there actually was a responsibility to disclose it. Okay, so the, the, you have a list of seven people. Okay. So what about individuals who got half a million dollars to give speeches when their wife was running for president?
Why, why is that not something you dedicate 35 minutes to? Because Bill Clinton's you won. got half your a side million. Won. Yeah, and you're that's why you're attacking us. White House. Because Hillary Clinton that's didn't That's why win. the press you, is you, interested you have to in get what over you're it. doing now. You you're have the to person get over who's it. deflecting to Hillary Clinton. You're so, not getting over it. So if somebody doesn't it. win, so if somebody doesn't win, uh, if they commit a crime, it's irrelevant to American national security. When somebody how, wins the presidency, it's more relevant. How does that work? How, do, how does that work? When, when somebody is involved in putting TSSCI, special access program information, onto her private homebrew server in contravention of every federal law to do with classified information, the fact that she doesn't win means it's irrelevant to CNN? I mean, that is fake news. That's when you're selectively choosing what to look at and you downgrade real crimes and don't look at them mm -hmm. and spend nine months looking at something where there's no evidence of anything illegal, nothing illegal, not in John Jr.'s meeting. None of those meetings was illegal. None of them. So why are As you, you choosing know, Mr. not Brooker, to look the at really important things? Continues. There's no conclusions yet from Bob Mueller. The yeah, investigation continues. Yeah, but you continues. behave but like an investigator. Well, so I'm why don't you investigate Hillary Mr. Clinton Brooker, just because she lost? I'm asking Just you about lost? your candidate, Donald Trump. And I'm responding to your lack of prioritizing in the interests what is of your U.S. Answer to national security. That, that nothing inappropriate happened. There's nothing inappropriate. And that we've made the requisite statements. Mm -hmm. And in comparison to what other political candidates did, especially Hillary Clinton, it is very strange that CNN is obsessing on those who did nothing inappropriate mm -hmm. and has nothing to say about people who are doing pay for play, who are involved in selling 20% of our u uranium mm -hmm. to Russia when their husband is getting a half a million dollar speaking fee, mm -hmm. who, who are in contravention of every classified is information possible, handling Mr. Burka, rule. That your team is obsessed with the Clintons? No, we'd like you to actually do your job. And, and you know, you, you're not in the news business anymore. You used to be. Uh -huh. You are in the attacking President Trump business. And it's sad. Well, it's really sad. It's interesting, Mr. Worker. I, look, I know that you have to go, and I didn't even want to go down this rabbit hole with you. But when you take shots at us and at journalism and at CNN, I do feel. No, not journalism, CNN. Okay. When you take shots at CNN, I do feel that I must respond and just point out that That's fine. You're, you called us yesterday to come on here. So why do you That's want to do. come on? Why do you want to come on? What to you claim is a channel that isn't worthy you of your answering us? Okay, well, let me answer the question. To redress the absolute absurd Alice in Wonderland of yesterday. When I got home late at night, I watched the clip of your colleague, Chris Cuomo, with Kellyanne Conway, my colleague, the first woman to run a successful yes, presidential candidate Yes, we've reported that many times. Yes, history. we know that. Uh, yes, go on. May I finish? May I finish? And when I saw your colleague profess that 35 minutes on something that was wholly appropriate, 30 Five minutes. When has CNN spent 35 minutes on anything Well, just to be, okay, let, let me, to just to it be was clear. Our, it was our decision uh -huh. that we should try and redress the balance. Very and good. you were very gracious to accept it. But and, if you don't like the answers, that's not my problem. No, I'm looking for answers. But just to be clear, we, we, we were trying to be time conscious yesterday. We wrapped Kellyanne many times. She wanted to get her, your message out. And I think that we gave her an opportunity to do that. We talked about many things she yesterday. She was marvelous. Yeah, as we have today. Um, Sebastian Gorka, we appreciate you wanting to come on. CNN, we appreciate having you on and talking about all of the things in the news. Thank you for being Thank here. Thank you. Me too. Good. Just for the